Hello, my name is Scott Rogers and I'm the Technical Marketing Manager for VMware Tanzu Observability by Wavefront. In this video, we're going to look at how to use the Wavefront provider for Terraform to manage resources in your Wavefront environment. First, let's answer the question, what is Terraform? Terraform is a tool for building, changing, and merging infrastructure as code. In this case, infrastructure also refers to resources in Wavefront. So let's get started. We start by going to the Terraform registry and searching for Wavefront. And we find this Wavefront provider. It's a verified provider by VMware. This is the one we want to use. And don't worry if you're new to Terraform. It's very straightforward to get started. Uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll copy this configuration to our Terraform configuration file. And then we'll also need to pass a couple of credentials to Wavefront in the form of the cluster address and your API token. And while you can do this in the, in the um, control files or the configuration files directly, we recommend you do this via an environment variable so that you don't risk leaking these credentials should you ever commit that file to a public version control system. This is an example of using Terraform language to create a test alert in Wavefront. And you can see here on the left, there are many different types of Wavefront resources that you can manage in Wavefront via Terraform. Let's go look and see what this looks like in my environment. So here you see in my editor, we have on the left, the configuration file. And you can see here that we have passed the cluster address. And I'll show you where to find that in your URL line in your Wavefront cluster as well. And on the right, we have a Terraform configuration language file with a number of resources we're going to manage. In this case, we have some users in Wavefront, some test alerts, a derived metric, some dashboards, and so forth. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like in our command line. So I've already passed my credentials, my API token via an environment variable. So I come here to this um, directory and type Terraform init. I'll get some feedback that says we've successfully initialized the environment. And then I'll run a Terraform apply. And this will actually create the resources for us in Terraform or in Wavefront. So you can see here the first feedback we get is it's going to add eight resources. So we'll go ahead and type yes. Then we get feedback the resources have been successfully created. Let's go view those resources in Wavefront now. So we'll start by going over to account management and verifying that our users have been created. And here we see Alice, Bob, and Charlie, newly created users as part of this Terraform apply. We can go up and look at alerts and verify that we've created two test alerts, Terraform test alert and Terraform test alert two. We can go and verify that our derived metric was created in Terraform. There it is, dummy derived metric. We can even go over to dashboards and search for our dashboards that we created here. Sometimes take just a moment for them to show up. And here we see Terraform Test Dashboard and Terraform Test Dashboard 2. All of these created by our Terraform Apply. So in addition to creating resources with Terraform, you can also manage their life cycle. So in this case, we can destroy these resources uh, to clean up our environment. So we'll go ahead and go back to our command line type Terraform destroy and this works just like Terraform apply. It gives us feedback that tells us what it's about to do. It's going to destroy eight resources. We type yes. We get more feedback that those resources were destroyed and we can go back to Wavefront and verify that they, they were indeed destroyed. Go back to account management. We no longer see those three users. We go to look at our alerts. Those, uh, those alerts are now gone. We no longer have that particular derived metric and the dashboards have been deleted as well. So this was a very quick tour through um, using the Wavefront provider for Terraform to really show you how you can manage the life cycle of your Wavefront resources programmatically. This lets you version these resources just as you do code um, and is a great tool to add to your CI CD toolbox. I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching.